All right, over here at the shop, looking at the Honda Fortrex 200 SX. Uh, this is a 1986 model. I've got the plastic pulled off the tank air box out there. This uh, this gas tank's actually off of an XR250 um, 1984. So I'm I'm just using that because the gas tank that I had on this bike was not the right one on this four wheeler. Uh, if you watched the video, this uh, gas tank there was on it and it had this piece of wood underneath it so I got all that off um, so I just got that gas tank sitting on it all I've done so far is uh, pull the carburetor off and put the rebuild kit on it that came with the bike um, I paid $225 for this four wheeler back on Saturday um, it's Tuesday I just came over to the shop tonight to mess with it um, I shot a little bit of starter fluid in it just to see if it would start and it sputtered um, pulled the carburetor off Dipped it. The uh, the kit. I'll show you what the kit looked like. The kit came in this. Uh, this is a carb repair kit TRX 200 SX. Um, had all these extra pieces. I, I, I use a lot from the actual the old carburetor. I mean, I don't even know where that would go on that carburetor. There's a lot of extra pieces. But uh, I replaced that slow speed jet and a couple other things on it. I mainly used the gasket out of it to make sure it's sealed up nice and tight. Um, but what I did, Peacock turned on. Um, I've already started it once. Uh, battery might be going dead. Turn the light off. Battery's rather dead. Let me see if I'll just pull start it. There you go. Starts right up. Um, when I first started it just a second ago before I decided to videotape it, I hit the, the starter button and it started right up. Uh, but it was oddling kind of low and it cut off. And then when I went to restart it, the battery was too dead to start it with the starter. So I pull started and started finally like it just did now. But, uh, don't see any smoke coming out the back. The uh, previous owner that I bought it from, he said the thing was leaking gas out all over the place. Uh, that's why he bought the rebuild kit and said he didn't have time to put it in. But it just took me about 20 minutes. Revs up pretty good. Um, I need to do something about a tank. There was actually a, a guy that I bought some other stuff from actually called me the other day and he had one of these, um, it was an 88, and asked me if I wanted it for 200 bucks, and uh, I don't know, it was missing the plastic and stuff, I decided not to do it, I probably should have done it because the gas tank from this thing alone seemed to go for 100 bucks or more, um, there's one on eBay now for 150 and the thing is completely rusted out, but anyways, good running little four wheeler, uh, gotta figure out that gas tank I don't know it I got $250 or $225 in it so far um, yeah I know you can buy a plastic tank for about 180 I don't want to do that and uh, I guess right now I got to try to find out if I can get a tank that fits I've got a uh, 88 TRX 250 that's got the metal tank but I don't know if it's the same tank or not but I need to check that out also but yeah this thing uh it's running pretty good. You put some air in that left tire and see if it holds. This one over here is holding pretty well. But thing runs good. All right, well, thanks for watching Big Drums Garage. Uh, I got this thing ready to go. Like I said, I, I gotta get the tank. And once I get the tank done, I don't know what. I'm, I'll probably rot it some, and then probably end up selling it. Um, probably fix some of the little issues that it's got like the uh, missing plastic and stuff like that. Nothing major though. Um, but Alright, thanks for watching Big Rooms Garage. Have a great night.